dear students now we are going to discuss about a problem in projection of solids now we are going to take an account as a cylinder so they are given your base diameter as 60 mm and they are given your height as 90 mm then axis is being inclined 30 degree to hp so first on your top view i'll be drawing a circle by using your circle command just click your center and enter your radius as 30 okay now next what i have to do i have to divide your circle into eight equal parts so using your line command i'll be dividing it so just i have divided into four equal parts now i just select and copy this these two lines make a copy with respect to your midpoint place it over here escape once again select your lines click rotate about your midpoint rotate it for 45 degree now once again select these two lines move with respect to your midpoint and place it over here now i have drawn a circle and and uh, divided into eight equal parts clear students next i am going to get your front view so for that what i have to do is i have to just project your lines i'll be just projecting your lines from each and every points okay so now next i have to draw your axis line so for that what i have going to do i am going to change it by by layer i just change it into one continuous line into a center line from this point your height has been 90 okay then press your escape once again you have to change your line to by layer now it is a cylinder students so what i have to do i have to join your point c from this point i just joining with you by generating a construction line from each and every point i generated a construction line so it will be easy for me for drawing clear next i have to draw these two vertical lines so after that i am going to mark your alphabets okay so for that i use your text command i just typed it so it is a cylinder so i'll be having your a point on your bracket will be having your one point also okay i just close your close editor just make a copy of this and just to place it wherever you this is your a point b c d e f your f point and g point your h point okay similarly it will be your one dash over here here it will be your so at your bottom point you will be having your numerical values similarly on your top also so i have to just edit i just placing your wherever i need your uh, marking points i just placed it so that it will be easy for me for editing okay now i just press your escape now i have to edit it students so i'll be editing one by one so first i'll be completing your top view so I'll just double click it so this will be your b to close editor this will be your c and third point here it will be your d four e five f six this will be your g seven your last one will be your h eight so i mark your point similarly over here it will be your one dash this will be your two dash on your bracket eight dash here it will be your three dash seven dash so three dash 
सेवन डैश और हियर इट विल बी योर फोर डैश एंड सिक्स डैश और हियर इट विल बी योर फाइव डैश ओके सो जस्ट मूव योर अल्फाबेट bit away so both are being very close so i just moved it similarly i'm going to mark your top this will be our a dash here it will be b dash h dash here it will be c dash g dash here it will be just d dash over your bracket it will be your f dash your last one will be your e dash clear now i have to just make it as a dark line so the circle will be a dark line so i just change it to 0.35 similarly your outer edge once again students for your cylinder and for your cone only your outer edges will be your dark line your inner lines are generator lines so that will be your thin line only okay after converting it select your top part just make a copy and just move and place it okay now once again you have to rotate your axis students so just select it so your axis is 30 degree so 90 minus 30 it will be 60 so what i will be doing is i'll be just rotating about your axis i have to rotate for 60 then only i'll be getting your axis will be 30 okay so after rotating it what you have to do is you have to just select your components click move with respect to this base point just place it over here See, it should be placed on your x-y line, students. So just zoom it and place it carefully. Move on your x-y line. Okay. After that, you are going to draw your construction line. Okay. See, from your top view. See, this point has been missing, so I just make a copy and I just place it over here. Okay. First, complete segment by segment. First, complete this. area okay so for that before that i have to extend your axis so just ex enter just click your axis so it will be extended okay after extension i am going to draw your projection line first i'll be completing your first part okay so i'll be projecting lines from each and every point make sure that your author is on so just draw your lines from each and every point okay this is your top area press escape once again similarly draw for your bottom base point also so I'll be just projecting your points from each and every point. I'll be just projecting. See to that you select your sections correctly. So from each and every point, I have just drawn a. projection line okay similarly i have to draw it on your horizontal line so first point similarly from h point similarly from your a point similarly for your b point and last one for your c point okay 
so i will be joining your line students so first i will be just see on your top view all your alphabets will be visible so i have to draw a continuous line so your command will be spline so just select your point students so i'll be just zooming this area only so it will be easy for me so just zoom your window only i need this part okay just type s p l i n e enter select your points your first point second point third fourth is your fifth point sixth point seventh point and eighth your last home point after that just press enter over here see your base has been inclined in this direction so i have to view so automatically opens 7 6 5 4 3 will be visible whereas 1 2 8 will be invisible okay so once again click your spline command so i want to draw a spline so this here part i have to break it because i have an half part as continuous line your half part has been discontinuous line okay so i have drawn your spline just enter it once again click your spline you draw your second half so first point second point third fourth and your last point just press escape sorry when you use your spline command you have to click only or enter just click your points enter okay i have not joined properly so just click spline S P L I N E enter first point second point third fourth and fifth point just enter okay now click your line join these two areas first point and second point similarly over here to here now you are going to draw a dark line students this circle and this circle and this point and this point it will be a continuous dark line so i just selected as point 35 whereas this part will be a hidden line so i just selected a dash dot and i just increased your thickness so next i have to mark your alphabets okay so first i will be marking your a b c d e so just click your text first point a close editor make a copy of this so a point b point c point d point e f and g h similarly over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 So I have to just rename it. So I'll be just zooming this area, so it will be easy for me for the renaming. So just double click it. This will be your B point, C, D, E, F. G H similarly over here it will be your one two this point will be your three four five six. Seven. Your last point will be your eighth point. Okay. So with this, I wind up your projection of solid diagram. So just you can see the entire diagram. Okay. Thank you all. So I will be just marking only your dimension before that. So just click your linear. Just mark your height. Your height has been ninety mm. then just click your diameter just click the circle you will be getting your diameter your last one your angle your axis angle 
it is being 30 degree thank you all we can see on your next lecture